again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So in this video, I wanna share with you guys five varieties of cut flowers that are very easy to start for beginners. Uh, these are tried and true varieties that I grow in my garden every single year. In fact, I think that I grew all of them my very first year that I dove into cut flowers. And I have my little post-it list right here. Uh, all of these can be started from seed inside or actually most of them can actually be sown uh, direct sow outside. So if you're not really into seed starting, a lot of these you can direct sow right into the ground and it'll be very easy for you to start too. These are in no particular order, but I think my favorite might be the first one. So let's just jump right in. The first one on my list are zinnias. Now zinnias are probably on everyone's cut flower list because they're very easy to grow. They come in so many different colors. There's so many different varieties. And I think that they grow well in most climates. They're a heat loving plant. So if you have super hot summers, they'll just grow and grow and grow. And zinnias are always on my top of the list for the year. The varieties that I tend to grow the most of are the Benneries Giant Series, which give you a very large double flower. Zinnias are a cut and come again, which means the more you cut them, the more they branch and produce more blooms, which is perfect, especially if you have a smaller area you're growing in. A few of my favorite colors of the Benneries Giant are the Salmon Rose, the Deep Red, the golden yellow, and the lilac. And this year I'm also growing the white because I just feel like I need another option for a white flower in my garden. Another really fun zinnia to grow for cut flowers are the Oklahoma series. They're a double flower just like the Benary's Giant zinnias, but they're a much smaller bloom and they sometimes act as a little bit of an accent flower in bouquets. So this year I'm gonna be growing a couple colors of the Oklahoma series as well. Now there's a lot of different other kinds of zinnias. There's cactus zinnias, there's single variety zinnias. The one thing you do wanna make sure because there are so many different kinds is that you're ordering ones that are tall enough for cut flowers because there's some zinnias that are made to be bedding plants that only get about a foot tall. You definitely wanna make sure that your zinnia plants have plenty of height, ideally 36 to 40 inches high. And zinnias are one of the easiest flowers to direct sow in your garden. I always do a couple succession plantings a year of zinnias. The first ones I start from seed inside, but the big planting, the majority of my zinnia planting are direct sowed right in the garden. So it's very easy. The next one on my list are cosmos. Cosmos grow and grow and grow and are cut and come again just like zinnias. They don't come in near as many colors, but they do come in single or doubles, lots of pinks and whites and purples. And the one really good thing about Cosmos, you can use the flowers in your bouquets or you can actually use the foliage in your bouquets. Now you can start Cosmos inside, but I find it easiest just to direct sow them outside and they sprout very quickly and grow in the intense heat of the summer. Cosmos are a perfect whimsical accent flower for your market bouquets. The next one on my list and probably one of the easiest ones to sell at a farmer's market is a sunflower. Now you can start sunflowers inside, but sunflowers also are very easy to direct sow right out in the landscape. And if you've ever gone to a market or a flower shop looking for flowers, what catches your eye the fastest? Probably a sunflower. I tend to grow mainly the pro cut varieties of sunflowers, which are pollenless and they are a single stem. You also can purchase branching sunflowers. The one thing you do have to remember if you're planting a single stem variety like the Procuts is you need to do succession plantings so that you have a continual harvest of sunflowers throughout the entire season. And since I plant the Procut series, I typically do a planting of a few hundred at a time every two weeks from the end of May all the way through the middle of July. That will get me sunflowers through my entire growing season. Sunflowers are the perfect focal flower for your summer and fall bouquets. They come in oranges, yellows, plums, red. There's teddy bear styles. There's a lot of different varieties so that you can mix it up and not have to offer the same ones every week. Number four on my list is a spike variety. And when you're making market bouquets, it makes them more interesting to look at 
look at if you have a mix of flowers. So you'll have your focals, your accents, your fillers, and a spike flower always makes your bouquets look great. And that is why I love to grow Celosia. Now, Celosia is definitely recommended that you start those inside, but I have had a really great experience starting Celosia from seed inside under grow lights. It starts very easily, in my opinion, and there are so many different varieties of Celosia. You could plant different varieties every single year. There's the comb varieties, there's plume varieties. One of my favorites is the Selway series, which comes in a variety of colors. I also love the Flamingo Feather variety and the Pompous Plume mix. Now, the one thing with Celosia you also have to make sure is that you're getting the proper height because Celosia also comes in shorter plants that are made to be bedding plants. So make sure just like zinnias, you're buying your seed where the plants will get tall enough, ideally 36 to 40 inches. Celosia is also a heat loving plant. So if you have super hot summers, they will grow even better. The last one on my list is Ami or Dara. Kind of the same plant, uh, but not really. Ami, you can get in whites or greens. Dara is the eggplant colored maroon variety. Sometimes it's listed under the flowering carrots, but either way, these are a very prolific bloomer in the garden and super easy to direct sow. Yes, you can start them inside, but they are just as easy to direct sow out in the garden. With both of these varieties, the more you cut, the more that they branch out and produce flowers. And this being a disc shaped flower, it's not a focal flower, but it has that disc shape that it will add a lot of texture and variety into your market bouquets. A lot of you might think that this is similar to a Queen Anne's Lace, and yes, it totally is. We have Queen Anne's Lace that blooms wild in all of our fields and ditches around Iowa, but these are specific varieties bred for cut flowers that I love to start from seed every year. And a lot of times they will drop seed in the fall and even come up on their own in the spring. Okay, so those are my top five flowers for beginning flower farmers. I hope this was helpful to you. And if you're a flower farmer and have any other varieties that you love to start, put them in the comments down below. There are so many great varieties. I honestly had a little trouble narrowing it to five, but these five are definite winners. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like it and click the subscribe button. I have a lot more content coming up through the entire winter as far as my garden plans and projects that I'm going to be doing. So watch for those. We'll see you soon.